Hey there, YouTube. I want to start a new little mini-series here on our channel about STEM. Now, I'm not talking about plant stems, but I'm talking about another kind of STEM. You may have heard of it already, but STEM is an acronym. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And it's a big buzzword today, and a lot of people, when they hear STEM, think of uh, computers and robotics and, and things like that, big projects that cost a lot of money. Well, I want to start a little mini-series here dealing with super simple STEM projects that involve a single sheet of paper. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let me, let me go through the acronym here first. The S in STEM stands for science. Now, as a science teacher, it's close to my heart. I love science. And if you look above me, you'll see the steps of the scientific method. Problem, hypothesis, procedures, observation, and conclusion. And science is all about repeating things, doing things over and over again. You start off with a question, you go through the scientific method, and you come up with an answer. And chances are you're going to have many more questions to try to solve. The T stands for technology. Now, nowadays, people think technology is all about computers, cell phones, and the like. Well, technology can involve any tools. It could be something as simple as a stick. A stick is a tool if you are using it to accomplish a task. So the T in technology can be any kind of a tool, whether it's complicated or simple. The E for engineering involves using a tool to accomplish a task. So that stick I mentioned could be a tool used to accomplish a task like, say, moving a rock from one place to another in your yard. That is engineering. And trying to find the best stick for the job ties into engineering because you want to improve the design of even a stick in order to make the job easier for you. And finally, the M for mathematics. Mathematics doesn't have to be computer programming. The M for math could be simply measuring something with a ruler. It could be identifying shapes, geometry. It could be making mathematical computations. So as we go through this little series on STEM projects, I want you to keep in mind that it doesn't have to be really expensive, computerized, robotics-type projects. It can involve, as we're going to see in this series, a single sheet of paper. So I hope you enjoy this next little series on super simple STEM projects with single sheets of paper.